In this presentation, we are going to look at the aggregate function. So what is the aggregate function? So consider the tree species in the iris, iris data set. We have Setosa, Virginica, and Versicolor. I'm not quite sure about the pronunciations, but that's my best shot. Suppose we wish to compute some statistics for each group individually, rather than the data set as a whole. So what we could do there is use the aggregate function for a specified command uh, to apply a specified command for each individual group. Now the basic structure is as follows. So we have the command here itself, aggregate. Here is the variable that we want to get some uh, statistic uh, of, for example, the mean of horsepower or something like that. So that's the variable. Now what we want to do then is apply the groupings. Now, so rather than just sort of saying, just applying some sort of grouping, what we're going to do is by equals list and then specify the groupings. So what we can, what essentially this means is that we could have a sequential list of groupings. Now I'm going to come back to that shortly. What that means, uh, but for the time being, we'll just start uh, stick to a simple example first off. And finally, function. So suppose we wish to compute the standard deviations for petal widths for each of the three types of iris. So I'm going to attach the iris data set, and what I'm going to do is aggregate petal width by equals list type equals species and then the command standard deviation so let's have a look at that there we have it there so we have the types setosa versicolor and virginica and then the standard deviations of each by the way type there is something i picked out myself ra uh, rather than use species um but that's just to demonstrate if i wanted to have something there like uh if I wanted a name there, I can just uh, I can use my own name. But if you don't actually specify a name, it will actually use this default setting, group one, and actually not species. So what you have to do there is apply your own name. And if you want to use species, you have to specify species equals species. Okay. So it's essentially the point of type equals species, just to highlight that point. That if you want to uh, have a meaningful name here, rather than group 1, you have to apply it yourself. Now, on the here we have all the standard deviations. Standard deviation for Sotosa, standard deviation for Versicolor, and standard deviation for Virginica. And we can do something um, similar for other commands here. For example, I'm going to clear that. So suppose I want median, there we have them there, or the mean, there we have them there. So, and it can be used for all of those, uh, so any sort of uh, appropriate statistical command, it can be used there. Now, what we're going to do now is have a look at a different data set here called um, MT cars. Now, in MT cars, there are two binary uh, data sets, or, sorry, two binary variables, AM and VS. Now, suppose we wish to find uh, the mean horsepower, the mean of HP for each of these four combinations. So, what we're going to do here is apply, set up a sequential list of groupings. So, HP is the variable, horsepower, by equals list. Now, VS is the our own name that we're going to give the variable VS that's in empty cars. Capital AM, again, we're going to just use capitals instead of small uh, letters, but essentially just to sort of st state which categorical variables we're using. And then finally, the mean. Okay. So here we have them there. The uh, VS and AM. If I went the other way around, for example, uh, VS... Oops. We would have had AM first, then VS. So in this second way I have done it, AM is first and then VS. So it just sort of shows uh, how we can do them, apply the grouping sequentially, but after, apart from that, it doesn't really matter. So, um, for example, when VS is zero and AM is zero, the mean of horsepower is 194. 
and when VS is 1 and AM is 1 the horsepower is 80.57143 and we can see all the uh, the means for all the other combinations there as well anyway that ends our presentation thank you very much